So we start off by pinning back the greñas so they won't get all wet and stuck to my face like spiders. Wipe the sleep from my eyes and slap my face a little bit. And it's time to get the yak mouth under control. Yak mouth being morning breath. I know this isn't cool, like who wants to watch people brush their teeth, but why not? Sorry. So brush a brush a rinse a rinse a. I opted not to use mouthwash because the one I have handy burns the snot out of my mouth. Next is my scrubby dub of my face. I am clean. I showered last night, but you gotta freshen up. You gotta wake up. You gotta get that cold water in your face. I gotta get the greñas out the way because they will fall forward and get the little scrubby cleaner on it and again wet spider legs so rinsey rinsey and get to scrubbing i love this little brush it's actually needing its batteries replaced because it wasn't as spinning as fast as i'm used to it but it just makes me feel like it gets my skin super clean so once we're done, I dry off. Now I'm not one big for getting ready in the morning, but you definitely got to get that wa face washed. Next, I'm going to take down the greñas, the hair, because I'm ready to moisturize, so I don't need my little bowrette thing in my head, my little headband. Now I like this moisturizer. It doesn't have any scent, and it seeps into my ashy skin really, really fast. So I concentrate all over my face, my forehead, because I'm getting creases up in there. I particularly pay attention to where my little crow's feet are coming out. And then right here in the laugh lines, because I see them now. And get all up in the neck, because even if I do have a turkey waddle, you want it to be smooth and moisturized. Next is my hair, you guys. I don't do anything to my hair. I just wet it down. And then I put in my little um, sea salt spray. That way when it dries, it has a little bit of body to it. So I go one side at a time, spritz, spritz, spritz. I shake it in, get it all up in there. And then I'll use a little bit of hairspray. That way when it does dry, it dries kind of firm and in place. Not crunchy, but in place. And shake it in, make sure it's all incorporated. And then I flip over to the other side and do the same thing. Um, I honestly don't know why I have long hair because I don't do much to it. Uh, but even if I had short hair, I probably wouldn't do much to it. But again, I just spray it and follow the same steps with my salt spray and my hairspray and get it all judged up in there. This is my little power combo. It's what little dude uses too, but he has great hair, so he really doesn't need it. Once I'm done, I just flip it back because I'm going to pull out my tried and true little hair tool that I've had forever and ever and ever, and that is my headband. I do like to play with my hair, but I don't make time for it. So I put in my headband, but the hairstyle ain't done until I make sure my locks are laying down and I get the poof up because it ain't done until the poof is up but yeah that's all i do and then when it dries it dries a little wavy last thing i do is moisturize these ashy lips of mine sometimes i want to wear makeup most of the times i don't but as long as i have moisturizer on my face and chapstick on my lips i'm good good morning my beauty Good morning. You want some breakfast? You want some breakfast? So 
so I check my sugar every morning before I have my first meal. If I sleep late, I'll check it before I have lunch. But this whole little kit is sponsored by Livongo, who is uh, supportive of us diabeticals at my job. So this whole kit is provided for free if you uh, become a member of their diabetes prevention or diabetes control program which is amazing because the strips themselves are very very expensive even with insurance but they provide you the little lancets which are these blue things that i'm sticking in here it's a teeny tiny needle you stick it in the pin twist off the safety cap teeny tiny little needle and then you put your cap back on and your pin is ready um to poke you to get your sample so next is the strip these right here are the ones i'm telling you are super expensive and i get them for free for Lav from lavango you put it in this fancy little machine everything has gotten so techy so high tech now all the information on here will go directly to the lavango website and they help keep me keep tabs so you get your finger ready the machine will tell you that the strip is ready to check and you kind of press on your finger and you give it a quick little poke you don't feel a thing now the first little drop you don't use you wipe it off second little drop is what you're going to test with you put it right here and within a second or two if even that you get your reading uh, the monitor asks you uh, when you're taking is it before breakfast before lunch after dinner skip meals that kind of thing so you choose and then it asks you how you feel now I clicked I wasn't feeling well because I wasn't uh, and then you click submit and then it'll give you pointers. It'll tell you if your sugar is too high or too low. Mine was a bit elevated, but not feeling well will spike your sugars. I am headed out to Walgreens to pick up my pain pills, which finally came in. There's my little jalapenos and my maters, all enjoying the day. I hope it's a wonderful day for them. They needed some sunshine. And finally, my little seed trays are doing what they're supposed to do, which is creating humidity. They weren't doing that inside, but now there's lots of little humidity mist so hopefully those do well that's what they rented me isn't she pretty but she is definitely smaller on the inside than mine but I love when I open the door you get that whiff of new car yumminess but she is pretty and it has this newfangled engine start button, which I'm not used to. My Camry had the key, and I honestly prefer the key, but times they are a-changing. So yes, I am headed to the Walgreens to get my pain meds. I just can't do those muscle relaxers, guys. It wipes me out. I have a good 20, 30 minutes before it wipes me out. Trying to stay awake and function is impossible. And then I'm down for like three to four hours. So I got up this morning with the intention of going to work. But I'd been whimpering like a beat dog since about four in the morning. Severe pain across my shoulder. It was mainly in my arm, my... Um, my muscle my bicep just really really bad and then my calf muscle was twitchy I remember all of it but uh, I got up anyway um, the more I walked around the worse the pain got 
I mean, you'd get pains where you kind of, it shoots, shoots, takes your breath away. Literally, you're like, <gasps> and this is happening at work. I was on the phone yesterday because I went to work yesterday and I was on the phone and I'd be talking to people and all of a sudden I'd get a spasm, a twitch, a twinge. Let me hold you guys this way because this arm hurts. Um, and I'm talking to people and... <gasps> It was embarrassing. I'm like, I hope they don't think I'm being naughty or trying to have a bedroom voice or something. I hope you guys can hear me because I have the air conditioner on. It's hot again, guys. It's 82 degrees. Very, very humid. But uh, I'm still learning the car. But I'm not driving and doing the little thingy, my um, little mount or anything. Probably never, ever again. Granted, I didn't have an accident that way. But now I'm just very nervous behind the wheel. But yeah, I just, I just, um, I got up and I couldn't and I, I started getting really upset because damn it, I'm sorry. I know I don't cuss hardly ever. I make up cuss words, but I am not ready for whatever the heck is happening right now I am so ashamed that I couldn't just get up put my big girl panties on and go to work this ain't what my mama raised okay my mom used to go to work all messed up because she had to and I have to I need to and I'm just really struggling with not being able to I'm not as strong as she is and I've always known that I'm not as strong as a whole lot of people who just get up and forge forward. The pain was just so bad and I knew I was going to have to take meds and I was not going to function and I'm not going to be behind the wheel of a rented brand new freaking car with now 46 miles in it. I'm just really disappointed in myself. I really am. I thought I was stronger than this. But anyway, so I popped my pills made sure little dude was off to school stayed awake until he told me he was on the bus he'll text me when he's on the school bus he never wants me to take him to school even on my days off like he's like no it's okay he wants to ride the bus but anyway so I got that message and I fell asleep and I woke up around 10 30 and I'm like oh, it's still early enough where I can get in really good hours at work so I got up and within 10 minutes, there goes the arm again. Like, hi, good morning, I'm still here. So I just, I started getting really, really upset. And um, I come downstairs and my son was still awake. My oldest was still awake. I don't really know what his sleep pattern is or his sleep schedule is and I just kind of vomited. He was, you know, being chit chatty and I was kind of quiet because I was like on the verge of tears and I knew if I started talking, I was just going to cry, especially with him because him and my mom have this thing where you can just open up with them. And he was like, mom, are you okay? And bleh, I just broke down, told him how scared I was, told him about potential surgery, told him about the stupid nodule on my thyroid and I was just really scared. And I was honest with him, I just broke down and he's so funny. He will be, I don't have any tissue. He will be tender when he needs to be tender, but his reaction to drama, trauma, pain, fear is Superman. He's like, nope, this is what we're gonna do. So he's like, mom, I understand you're scared. I get it, but let me, before you continue, let me just tell you right now, I can take care of us. If you were to lose your job, worst case scenario, I know you're scared because of the past, everything that happened in the past with this type of surgery. I mean, I told him everything. Everything I basically told you guys in the video yesterday, I told him, but like raw, you know, I was just like falling apart. And he was like, before you say anything, I'm here to listen to you. You can tell me anything you want to tell me. But before you continue, just know that I can take care of us. I can take care of all of us. I can take care of this house and the bills. I got you. I don't need you to worry about losing your job. And I'm like, but you shouldn't have to. You're a grown man who should be saving up and, and you know, preparing for your life when you leave. Because that's what I wanted for him. Like 
to save up for a huge down payment for your own home and all this and that. And he's like, I said, you're a grown man preparing, supposed to be preparing for your own life. And I'm a grown woman. I shouldn't have anybody taking care of me. He's like, ain't nobody taking care of nobody. It's just somebody, you know, looking out for. And he's like, you're my mom. He's like, there's no way I wouldn't. So, I need tissue. I have nothing in this car. But anywho, uh, and it does help to know that. But at the same time, that prideful person in me, I appreciate it so much as a mother. But as an adult, and as a woman who is always taking care of everything, it does something to me. It, it irks me that I would have to be taken care of. I'm grateful, but it irks me and I don't like it. I, but, so I fell apart and then I lie down and I couldn't sleep. I couldn't get comfortable. So I said, screw this. I'm just going to get up and get on about my day. I got the text message that my meds were ready. I need a heating pad because I'm doing this uh, microwave thing, heating pad type thing that uh, I saw on YouTube. Which works, but it doesn't stay hot. Uh, so I just said, screw it. Um, I popped a couple of leaves because I didn't know you weren't supposed to take ibuprofen with muscle relaxers. I never read the drug interaction paperwork on the stuff that they staple to your Walgreens bags on the old crap. So I popped some Walgreens and within half an hour, the ache was there, but the twinging in my bicep stopped. So I just got up and went on about my day, which is why I put together these random little snippets because... Yes, I feel bad, but if I sit in that feeling bad, if I sit in the house and lie in bed just focused on that, I'm going to fall into a place I don't need to fall into. So, I just got up and figured, let's do something creative, if you can call YouTube creative. Let's just do something different. So, that's why you guys saw what you saw just now. And I ain't going to lie, it was distracting, it was fun, it's different. Um... But yeah, I am finally cool. I got it at 61. Do you guys have your cars really, really low with the cold? Ugh, it smells so nice in here. I love that new car smell. But um, I'm going to go to Walgreens, pick up my meds, get a heating pad, and then come home. I have a few hours until little dude comes home, and then I have to get on mommy duty. And my friend um, asked if she could bring us some dinner, and I don't like to put upon anybody but the way this arm acts and it's my right arm really my freaking right arm my left arm was paralyzed with surgery in 2008 which was fine because I still had my right arm but now it's the right arm acting stupid but anyway I might take her up on that offer I don't know I don't know how I feel about that like I say I appreciate everybody so much I'm just not used to it but let's head over to Walgreens and sneak a peek a little around there I always get caught up in the makeup there. And I don't even wear makeup. Y'all saw what I do on the daily. But yeah, let's head on over there before it gets too late. Because I do need some time to pop the pills and be on mom mode for when little dude comes back. I stopped off at the grocery store in case I don't want to take my friend up on her offer. I need ground beef because I forgot to take my ground beef out again. And of course, I stopped off at the Pan Dulce, but I don't see anything that my big dude would like. I wonder if those are stuffed with something or just fun. Oh well, moving on. You know you're in a Latino grocery store when there's altares in the vegetable section. Well, not really altares, but this is everything they sell. I need to get home and pop my pills, but I just like grocery stores. Am I weird? That's what I'm getting right here. Bajando más una. Gracias. Look at all these delicious barbecue varieties. Look at that longanisa and chorizo handmade, so delicious, all the salsas, 
nopalitos, ensalada nopales, yummy. Then you have this deliciousness, the big chicharrones, cueritos, little feet, ribs. Are these from Mexico? No. These are not the Mexico ones. The Mexico ones are made with real sugar and delicious. Here they are. They have the Mexican Pepsi, the Mexican Coke. I haven't had a Mexican Pepsi in forever. I'm very tempted. I wonder if little dude would like to try one. I think I'll get some. This is what was missing for my breakfast this morning, but I don't like the price here. It's two something at Winko. Yay, thank you Supermercado Monterrey. Cause this is what I was out of and this is my baby's holy grail. So this is all I picked up, the yellow rice. I got some frijolitos because I'm out and I love me some beans. I got this for a little dude for dessert after dinner. I grabbed two Mexican Pepsis and a Mexican Coke. Me and little dude will try these. More than likely he'll try his today. Me, I don't know. I gotta space out my sweet drinks. And my big dude loves the Mexican Coke. But we can swap if he wants to try the Pepsi. There's my carne molida de res. Ground beef. That is ground. How much did I pay for this? $5.84. That's a pretty good price for fresh ground. And there's my heating pad. I got this king size one so I could spread it out on all my aching parts. They had one that was over the shoulder. It was for neck and shoulder. But I didn't want to just focus on those even though that's where most of my pain is because it shoots down my arm. And I figure this one I can wrap around me like a blanket, lay flat on my back if my sciatica acts up. Who knows? But this is what I was using as a heating pad. Just so you guys know, if you need a heating pad and you don't have one, you take a clean towel, dishcloth, whatever, soak it, soak it, soak it wet, put it in the microwave for two minutes, and then put it in a plastic baggie, and voila, you have yourself a heating pad. You can do the same with a, a cold pack. You soak it, soak it, soak it, wrap it up in a little rectangle, Set it in a dish or a plate, stick it in your freezer, freeze it, and then stick it in here. And then you have an ice pack. It'll stay icy longer than most, than just like a little ice pack. But there's that. So that is the day in my life today. And my arm is screaming. So I'm going to pop my pills, which are where in my purse. I'm going to pop my pills. I hope they gave me the right pills. Shall we check? Let's check. I'm going to check because when I went yesterday, they said they had one they were waiting on, one they had to call the doctor on, and that was my anti-inflammatory for my sciatica and my sinus infection just a few weeks ago, and I don't want that they, I hope they didn't call in, I want the wrong one, but you see what I was talking about, you guys, they have a third party medication filler who then brings it. To them, this is who I'm talking about because Walgreens doesn't have these plastic bags. This came in this to Walgreens, see, super sealed. So, this third party is why my meds were held up because Walgreens is waiting for them to deliver. I just want to make sure I got the right one because I don't need the other one. The other one was also an anti inflammatory, but no, yeah, naproxen. Yay, it's naproxen, which is the same as the leave. This is just a little more. Oh, this is 500 milligrams. But yeah, I'm going to definitely pop one right now. One? One, right? You wouldn't take, yeah. One tablet by mouth twice daily. I don't listen to that. I take as needed. I don't like taking pills, guys. But I'm going to pop me one. Forgive me, YouTube, if I'm not supposed to. Do this online, but your girl needs it, so. I'm good. I'm gonna lie down for a while, turn this heating pad on, and wait for little dude to come home. Consider taking my friend up on her offer for dinner, even if it's just to bring little dude a burger or something. I really appreciate it. But uh, I don't know, I'll think on that. And I will hopefully get up tomorrow, not whimpering like a whip dog, and be able to get in at least one more day of work. 
So, and on top of everything else, and I swear I didn't want to end this complaining, on top of everything else is I'm at the grocery store, I get a text message from baby daddy, I'm picking up Caleb this weekend, because last weekend was supposed to have been his weekend, and he forgot that he told me I could have him, so he makes up his own rules, well, since you have him on my weekend, I'll take him on your weekend, which is nowhere in a court order, we had never agreed to any of that, but now he's telling me I'm going to pick up little dude this weekend, and I'm like, look, you're going to have to talk to him, because little dude already told me since last weekend he doesn't want to go. And I already know, I already know my having said, just please talk to him. He's going to get on the defense and what do you mean talk to him? And I told you I was going to pick him up. I already know that this is coming right now and I don't need it. I already know he's going to call and text and be a butt because his way isn't the way it's happening. I shouldn't even have to argue. Nowhere is it written that if he misses his weekend or agrees on giving up his weekend that he is guaranteed my weekend it's not written anywhere i shouldn't even have to struggle or worry about it or stress about it i can just say no and no is no and little dude should be able to say no you're boring you don't do anything with us we're always in the room just you know whatever um i shouldn't have to put up with any of that and i just might not because i don't have the energy but that doesn't mean he's not going to call and text and harass and bother and be a pest Anywho, I'm going to go lay down. It's really humid. It is really, really humid. It's very warm in here. I just turned the heat off because it went from 40-something to 80-something. Just turned the heat off. I don't even have a fan on. Maybe I should just have the fan on to circulate. That's what I'll do. I'll just turn the fan on to have some air circulating in the house. But I keep saying it. I'm going to go lay down. I'm going to finish my water. I might take a sip sip out of that Pepsi. Maybe I'll wait for little dude. I don't know. Let my big dude decide which one he wants to try. I swear I treat my big dude like he's a baby. But he appreciates the little things like that. Like this pan dulce, which I couldn't find any that I thought he would enjoy. And um, a Mexican Coke. He's so easy to please, just like my little one. I'm so lucky. Not lucky that they're easy to please, but lucky that... Yeah. That they're not... Exigente that they're not ew mom really that's all you got me they're not like that but anyway i'm rattling and i think it's because i'm hot and i'm tired so i'm gonna shut up and i'm gonna go and again thanks for hanging out with me today i know it was different but uh hopefully here soon we can get back to me not being so down and morbid and whiny but till my next go around i hope you guys are having a great week i really do i hope you guys had a good day hope you guys have a great evening and until I see you guys again, I love y'all bunches. Bye.